Hello visuals and welcome to episode 19 of the Visual Guy podcast. Right, there's a podcast going up today because I did upload a reaction to the new Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon uh, Z-Move trailer, but YouTube's blocked it, so I, I'm, I was confused because I was like, you let me upload the other trailers. I, I didn't monetize it. But, uh, yeah, what, <laughs> so whatever. So I just thought, right, we're going to sit down. I've got a brew on the go. The dog's head's on my knee, so I'm stroking her. And uh, we'll just sit and talk about our thoughts on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Are we, are we now looking forward to it? Are we excited that it's coming out? Because it's like Sun and Moon, I haven't seen a divide like this in Pokemon franchise, I don't think, ever. So, um, yeah, are you guys looking forward to it? Right, I just want to get this point across first. Personally, I think they have done so much to prove that this isn't going to be the exact same game as Sun and Moon. I think they've, with the Ultra Beast storyline they've got, the, the, you know, the, the Ultra Squad team, I can't remember the now, uh, the, the, the new Ultra Beasts, a uh, few new Z-moves, Lycanroc variant, like the third Dusk form. And maybe a couple of other surprise Pokemon on the way. I think they've done enough to prove that, that it's going to be a different Pokemon video game. Uh, Old Shun and Ultra Moon is going to be different to Sun and Moon. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. I'm happy. And also, um, anybody listening to this this podcast, because you guys have interacted really well in the last Pokemon video um, with the um, commenting down your favourite Pokemon stuff, which is going really well so far. I've got the stuff written down, ready to make the video. Well, so far, I'm going to wait a bit longer in case someone else comments. But um, coming down this video, if you listen to this podcast, I want you guys to pick my starter for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I'll be playing Ultra Moon first. So I want you guys to pick my starter. Who shall I have? Poplio, Litten, or Rowlet? Because obviously the starter is is key. It, it defines your team. It you know Your team changes around your starter. So you guys, I want you guys to pick. I want you guys to pick my starter and also the nickname. The starter and the nickname. <laughs> whatever you guys want it to be that it'll allow because obviously it stops you putting certain words in now so anyway but yeah I'm looking forward to Ultra Moon and Ultra Moon it should be awesome and of course and as well today's video which they've blocked I had like the new issue of Pokemon Magazine come out which is really cool you got like a free Rotom Dex toy you got this awesome poster for the 20th movie you got that kind of stuff so it's, it sucks that I couldn't put that on a video but it's okay because I can put it in the next uh, video for Pokemon Thursday or any other video we, we do Ah, <sighs> YouTube. I still, I still need to learn the rules. And some more good Pokemon news. My Decidueye on Pokémon is now level 100. I am, and I am the Grand Master. So I'm super duper happy with that. I need a swag of the broom. I, en I am still enjoying these solo podcasts. It's great to sit down. I have the, it's weird when I watch myself because obviously I put the sticker over the front of the video, so you just look at the picture. It is just weird. And I've stuck my fidget spinners up on the wall so I can just sit and spin them whilst they're on the wall. Not that that's related to Pokemon. Well, one of them's a Pokemon fidget spinner. But, hey, <laughs> yo. And now the dog's licking itself. I'm not sure if the microphone could pick that up. Slurp of the tea. I mean coffee, not tea. But, yes. Pokemon. I think Pokemon. I think it's just going up and up. Pokemon Go. Let's talk about Pokemon Go quickly. Uh, Europe. We've just got the release of Suicune. I've just literally got back from a, my year six. My six Suicune raid, but I didn't catch him. I got three. We did a Tyrantar raid on the way to it, though. Got him. Well, it was actually a girl one. Are you guys still enjoying Pokemon Go? Do you think it's it's sort of wearing thin now? Are you enjoying it? There's still some things that I like to pick at it. I was talking to one lad there, um, Luke. We were talking about the unknown situation. I hate that there's a medal to get unknown. I still haven't got one. And yet, in like gold and silver, as soon as you're on the puzzles, there's just a whole room full of unknowns. You just get them to your heart's content. But yet, on Pokemon Go... They're just like the rarest thing. Ugh, it's friggin' annoying. I don't know why they've done that. And the, the raid system, I still think they need to think of a raid system. I know they won't, but you should be out of solo raids no matter what it is. Because so many times people have said to me, and it's happened to me, you've turned it to a raid, it's a legendary, no one's coming. You just have to be like, alright, maybe next time. It's it's kind of annoying, especially when you're not always guaranteed to catch it. So you have to meet everybody, meet up, get there, battle it, times, schedules. Oh, will you catch it? And then go through that motion again. And the Mewtwo invite thing, I'm not a big fan of that. I am not a big fan of that. I, because you've got to go through it again. I know it's, it's, I think someone said his catch rate 6%. But what what if you get there, you get the invite, you do it, and you don't catch him. You have to go through the same process again. Because you can't. people can't always go out raiding every day. They've got jobs and stuff. So I definitely think there's a few things in it to work on. It's great that it's a team game and you, you meet people and you do that stuff. It's awesome. But at the same time, it's a drag that you can't solo anything. Because when you need to solo stuff, then you're just, you're just stuck. But I don't know. Let, let us know the thoughts. It comes below about the whole 
shabam the whole shiba school and finally not finally but another point is the pokemon movie now the trailer's out people have dissected it people have looked at it people have gone through it looks amazing i'm still not sure on the storyline i don't know where it's gone i know it's, it's the start of ash's journey meeting pikachu and stuff but why are Mar shadow and um incineroar and that in it should they, it, it, i thought it was just all about unless it's just doing like a big time lapse it's going to show the pikachu in that meeting Ash and Pikachu meet and then they're gonna do like a big time jump to wherever he is and then to time jump to where I, I don't know I don't know where it's gonna go or how it's gonna go but one thing it is gonna be and it's gonna be fucking awesome I cannot wait for that shit I need another swag of coffee <coughs> pardon me that was fucking vile it's kind of funny I guess when you can see me do it but when you just listen to it it's probably not so good and I've actually made some more Pokemon card shelves you guys have probably seen them on the videos I already showed. I made two more of them, and let's stick them up somewhere. I'm not sure where. Um, I can. Uh, I don't know. I've got too much stuff in my room. But uh, yeah, I might as well um, say it again. But thank you for all the the commenting and love and support for the Pokemon stuff later. For all, for all the videos, the uh, the four eight facts about four did a lot better than I thought. It's sitting at 18 views, uh, two away from that 250 mark. My end of year, my end of year target. And you guys have already nearly got us there. Two subscribers away. That's freaking insane, man. It's just, just freaking nuts. Let's spin this. See if you can hear this. That is the noise of the fidget spinner. A spinning on the wall. Stop. That was the Batman one, though. I should maybe have done the Pokemon one. But, yeah. So, mainly you guys. Did you guys enjoy Pokemon if you played it? Did you guys... Uh, uh, looking more f f excited to uh, Ultra Shine and Ultra Moon? That's a thing that I need to pick up in the video. It says Necrozma's new Z move, but yet it's Lunala's body fused and Solgaleo's body fused with Necrozma. So does that mean when he fuses with them, they are no longer Solgaleo and Lunala? They are just pure Necrozma. Is that what that means? Because I, I was confused as all hell when I seen that. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So if there's anybody that can answer that question for me, please let me know. But yeah, end thoughts. Looking forward to Old Shadow Moon. Pokken, awesome. I've done it with Decidueye. I'm going to try and get some other characters to level 100. Maybe Scizor next. I think I might go for Scizor. Something that I wouldn't really usually use. Uh, the film looks amazing. Pokemon Go, still enjoying it. But I've still got my gripes with it. And um, one thing's for certain. I fucking love you guys. Visuals, let us know anything you want us to know in the comments below. Anything you want to talk about. Anything you want to say to me. Uh, and remember to name my, or well, sorry, name and choose my starter for Ultra Moon when it comes out. Completely up to you guys what you want it to be called. And the visuals, thank you for listening. Thank you for a, a random, let me put up a random podcast just during the week. Um, because YouTube decided to block a video for whatever reason, I don't know why. But visuals, there's one thing that will always be for certain. You guys, just no matter what happens, no matter what goes down, no matter if your Pokemon gets down to 1 HP, no matter if somebody comes at you with uh, some spider repellent and your spider powers are, aren't working anymore, or if the Avengers are having a hard time, you just got to remember one thing, and that's just to keep on keeping on.